Hello guys, my name is Nikander, I am a professional blockchain developer and in this guide I'll show you how to customize your Telegram mini apps appearance, you'll learn how to change the colors of the header bar, bottom bar and background. Let's get started. Before we begin, I want you to check out my ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game, it's a full stack Next.js 14 app featuring a beautiful front-end and a robust back-end. The app runs smoothly with seamless synchronization between the front-end and back-end. You can purchase the full app code on my website nikander.com. You can also check out the live version of the app in the official Telegram channel, where I regularly share news and updates about the ultimate Telegram mini app clicker game code. Additionally, if you purchase the code, you'll receive a referral link that allows you to earn profit by promoting the code to your friends. All the links are in the description. Let's continue with the topic of this video. Open VS Code. Open the terminal. Initialize a new Next.js app. Select all the default options. Wait a few moments for project to set up. Clear the console. Go to layout.tsx and remove all the existing code. Set up metadata with our app title and description. Create the root layout component. The most important part here is adding the Telegram web app script. This script is required to access Telegram functionality in our app. Without this script, we won't be able to customize Telegram mini app appearance. In globals.css, let's keep only the Tailwind CSS imports and remove all other default code. Create a types folder in the root directory and inside it create a file called telegram.d.ts. Define TypeScript types for the Telegram web app interface. This helps our code editor understand Telegram's methods and properties like header colors, background colors and other customization options. Go to page.tsx and remove all code, keeping only the empty home component. Add the use client directive for client-side rendering. Create two state variables, one to check if the app is running in Telegram and another to store our theme colors. Initialize Telegram web app when the component mounts. We check if we have user data from Telegram and if we do, we enable features like vertical swipes and set initial colors for header and bottom bar. Let's look at these Telegram methods. Ready tells Telegram that our app is ready to be displayed. Expand makes our app take full height of the screen. Enable vertical swipes allows users to close the app by swiping down. Then we set initial colors, black for the header and dark gray for the bottom bar. Create a function to update theme colors. When a user picks a new color, this function updates both Telegram's appearance and our local state. If the app is not running in Telegram, show an error message asking users to open it through Telegram mini apps. Create the main layout with a heading that explains what our app does. Create a container for our color customization section. Add three color pickers for header color, bottom bar color and background color. Each has a label and updates the theme when changed. Add a section that displays current color settings in JSON format so users can see the actual color values. Our component is ready. It checks if it's running inside Telegram, initializes Telegram web app settings 
and provides three color pickers to customize the header, bottom bar and background colors. Users can see their current color settings in real time. And if someone tries to open the app outside of Telegram, they will see a warning message. Go to next.config.ts and add ESLint configuration to ignore ESLint errors during build. Our app is ready, we can build it. Type npm run build. Great, we have no errors. Now we can deploy the app. If we try to open it outside of Telegram, it shows a warning message. When we open it on Telegram desktop, we can easily customize the header color and background color, but we can't customize the bottom bar color, because there is no bottom bar. We need to open it on a smartphone app for that. Let's open it on smartphone. Here we can easily customize the header color and bottom bar color, but we can't see the background color. It's very easy to pick the colors you want for your app to make it look unique and appealing. It looks amazing. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.